So today we're going to talk about what does Jim Carrey want? And how you can use those same techniques to help you get rich. I don't know if anyone has followed uh, Jim Carrey along the way as far as how he talks about how you can uh, just reach out to the universe and tell the universe what you want and then it just magically sort of comes together. What we really want seems impossibly out of reach and ridiculous to expect, so we never dare to ask the universe for it. I'm saying I'm the proof that you can ask the universe for it. Please. And if it doesn't happen for you right away, it's only because the universe is so busy fulfilling my order. <laughs> You know, it's up to you if you want to get mystical and and feel like something like that is tangible or not. Take a chance on faith. Not religion, but faith. Not hope, but faith. I don't believe in hope. Hope is a beggar. Hope walks through the fire and faith leaps over it. I do have a, a book to recommend that will help you sort of get your head around what that means. And it's called The Science of Getting Rich. If you don't want to go out and spend, I think I bought this on Amazon for like three or four bucks. It's worth just checking out on YouTube. It's free because it's super old. It came from 1910. Basically talking about how we're living in a world of thoughts. Everything's created from thought. And so if you think of it, think up something of something that you want, um, then the universe will sort of work itself out to create that for you. I had a substitute teacher from Ireland in the second grade that told my class during morning prayer that when she wants something, anything at all, she prays for it and promises something in return and, and she always gets what she wants. Well, I'm sitting at the back of the classroom, you know, thinking, wow, my family can't afford a bike, you know? So I went home and I prayed for one and I promised I would recite the rosary every night in exchange. Broke it, broke that promise. But two weeks later, I got home from school to find a brand new Mustang bike with a banana seat and easy rider handlebars. Yeah. From fool to cool. My family informed me that I had won the bike in a raffle that a friend of mine had entered my name in without, any, without my knowledge whatsoever. So that type of thing has been happening to me ever since. As far as I can tell, it's just about letting the universe know what you want and working toward it while letting go of how it comes to pass. I have built a masterclass and I'm waiting to get a few more followers before I launch it because what I want to do is not just give you a bunch of classes, but I want everyone to succeed. I want people to feel like they're moving forward, they're building residual income instead of just creating some finite amount of money. Like I think I need a million dollars in retirement or I think I need two million dollars in retirement or whatever that random number is you don't know what it is because taxes change over time and money value changes over i mean we're living that right now it's losing 8.5 percent in value just that cash in your savings account every year um so you know what do you do with your money uh it's really how do you build a residuals how do you buy something that grows with inflation that brings you income every single month that you can count on. Um, and so I go into a lot of different ways in with that from, um, from even buying rental properties, buying, um, it becoming a bank yourself, um, and, and becoming a bank to yourself, which sounds crazy, but you can do it, uh, and creating a bank for others where you're lending money and receiving residuals from that. And there's a whole bunch of different ways. You can do that even in crypto. So I want to show people how to do this with the, through the lens of filmmaking. And if you're a movie buff, I'm, I'm constantly trying to come up with ideas to, to link this topic that can be lame to a lot of people, which is money. I know I, I didn't, when I first got into film business, I just want to be creative. I want to be an artist. I didn't want to think about money. I put that in financial planners hands and that is the wrong way to think about it. You need to know about money and to learn about it so that you can adapt it for yourself. Everyone has a different situation. And, um, so I really hi highly encourage you to follow me, uh, uh <laughs> follow these videos. 
uh, follow my blog and um, check out some of the stuff. Uh, there's a, there's a, a link to also sign up for the waiting list for my masterclass. Again, it's ready. Uh, I just want to gain a few more followers because I want to be able to follow people along in their progress in a, in a three month sort of, I want to give people, uh, it's a three act structure and I want to give people a month per act and I want to follow people's progress on social media. I'm going to create a private group. I want uh, people to ask questions. I want to help people along in the process, post their, their progress in each act so that, uh, you know, we can encourage each other and support each other. And, uh, I, I don't just want to get this out there and, Hey, I collect a check and, and it's just a bunch of videos to watch. I want to see people's progress and I've got some great bonuses to come along with it. Some freebies. Um, so please sign up, uh, if you're interested and want to learn how to build residual income, just like a Hollywood producer would. Thank you so much. How will you serve the world? What do they need? that your talent can provide. That's all you have to figure out. As someone who's done what you're about to go and do, I can tell you from experience, the effect you have on others is the most valuable currency there is. Don't forget to click the like button if you enjoyed this video, and please click the subscribe button so that you get regular uh, updates when this new videos come out. And also, please go to my website where you'll be prompted to join my email mailing list where you'll always get regular updates on new ideas on how I can put you in the director's chair of your finances.